dark mocha fade just like the rest of my kit real happy I got these things I'm lucky sometimes they're so nice I don't feel like playing them then I change my mind and beat the hell out of them for an hour or two when I have the time anyway Let's see what we got on this baby. First thing we got here, even though it's a stock head, it's not that bad. I like it. It's a lot better than some of the stuff I used to play on years ago. If I was going to buy some replacement heads, I'd probably buy something real close to this. Uh, I know a lot of people look down on the stock heads that you get with drums, but... I think that you would have to classify these as just a, a, a notch above uh, uh, standard. Yeah. That's one thing we could look at there. Next thing you see, of course, is the uh, strainer locks. There it is. Let me slide right around here. Can't tell if this thing's coming out. Okay. Strainer here. Pretty nice thing to have the way it works. It, it locks at the highest tension as soon as you, you, you lock it. It automatically goes at the highest tension where you have it set. And then on the other hand, if you like it on low tension, it won't slip while you got it on low tension. So it won't slip no matter what tension you got it on, and uh, I think that uh, I think it's a really nice little uh, piece on there, high end all the way. Now uh, around the other side, we got the butt. Yeah, what can you say about the butt? Except that it holds a snare. Now this butt. Not only is it well made, holds it real tight. Got a couple nice big screws on there, so that snare doesn't slip around at all. And on the tension rods, some kind of fancy washers, I'm not exactly sure. There's two kind of washers on there with rubber cups on them. I'm not exactly sure of uh, up to speed on the uh, tension, uh, the washers on the tension rods. What I do know is that the uh, combination of washers that they put on there keep those tension rods from loosening. So you tune the drums and they're going to stay tuned. That's not a problem. So then. Uh, the snare underneath is a, just a snappy snare, which, you know, a nice little piece. I like them a little on the thin side, but then again, I like them on the thick side. But I'm happy with, with the piece that came with it. I'm just going to go ahead and keep that and go with that. Of course, what you can't see inside of this is the, uh, the wood. I don't know, it's four plies of birch and three plies of bobinga. And the babinga has a warm, rich sound, and the birch has, a, you know, the, the birch tone. That's the best way I could describe it. And a combination of the two is just it's absolutely breathtaking. It's, it jumps right out at you. Real clean, real sharp, real beautiful. One of the things that I really like about this is the lugs on it. You got 10 lugs on the top. Got 10 lugs on the bottom. Not only does it look good, look real good, it gives you uh, just an unlimited amount of variables in tuning it. It's uh, I've been tuning these drums more than I've been playing them because it, to me, the sound that I can get just by messing around, tuning them up, tuning them all the way up, tuning them all the way down, whatever. It's, it's just, it's amazing to me. And 
I really like the, the, the having 20 lugs on there on the drum. It's uh, real easy to tune it like that. So, you know, outside of that, there's really not too much more I can show you. I'm going to take it inside and smack it a couple times so you maybe get an idea what it sounds like. And uh, I recommend if you can afford it, you got the cash, you need a good snare, or you need an additional snare, you're not going to go wrong with this. I love time of drums, always did. But these Star Classics, they are absolutely breathtaking. They're expensive, but they're worth every penny. Just do your homework. You'd be surprised. You can get a good deal of brand new drums, brand new Star Classics, but you got to look around. Spend a little time. Don't be in no rush. So that's it for this part. <laughs> Certainly, uh, you get uh, hear better drummers just about any place. I got my friend Jojo Meyer coming over this afternoon. He's going to teach me how to play just like he did, does. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, I don't know, I'm running out of stupid shit to say, so I'm going to say, see ya. <laughs>